So a couple of weeks ago, I made a bold prediction that by the time my birthday rolled around, which is June 12th for all of you who want to send gifts, by the time my birthday rolled around, both AEW and NXT would be doing better numbers. And I winked. Okay? The wink, as I've noted, is now like Vince McMahon in the 90s making a guarantee. Money in the bank when I do the wink. I've winked twice so far. I winked about Tony Khan because I knew he was getting the Promoter of the Year award. And I winked about my prediction that both AEW and NXT would do better numbers by the time my birthday rolled around. Because it appears Wednesday Night War coming to an end. NXT and USA have been discussing moving the show to Tuesday nights. Targeted date for the move is April 13, which is the first Tuesday after WrestleMania. Matt Men Podcast, our own Matt Men Podcast, the first to report the story. It says here Dave Meltzer confirmed, but I confirmed. I'm going to tell you more in a minute. Added that almost all of the key NXT personnel have not been told about the move. If the move happens, it would leave the Wednesday 8 p.m. Eastern time slot to AEW. It moved head-to-head against NXT when they launched Dynamite in October of 2019. It was believed when NBC announced a move to NBC Sports Network later this year. Moved some of the programming to USA. The National Hockey League would present a conflict for NXT. Drew their Wednesday night time slot on the NBC Sports Network. On the February investors call, WWE President Nick Khan said the shutdown would not affect or impact Raw or NXT. It is unknown at this time what precipitated this conversation. Actually, I'll tell you what precipitated it. While Dynamite would benefit from the move, Impact likely would not, as they also air from 8 to 10 Eastern on Access, and Twitch with AEW Dark airing on YouTube at 7. When asked repeatedly over the last year plus about moving NXT off Wednesdays, Triple H reaffirmed their stance on playing the long game, question why no one asked, quote, anyone else about moving. Since they were there first. From a conference call last September, Levesque said there are always conversations around the placement of their products all the time. All right, so here's the story, everybody. So first off, as far as who's here first, okay? Yes, NXT was airing on the network on Wednesdays. They've been doing that forever. They had a one-hour show on the network. TNT wanted their show to air on Tuesday nights. That's why they went out. They got all the trademarks. Tuesday night dynamite. Tuesday night dynamite. That's what they wanted. The decision was made when they went to TNT. The TNT wanted the show on Wednesday. So this was a TNT call to put the show on Wednesday. This was not AEW thinking, we're going to go head to head with that NXT show. They were told you're going to be on Wednesdays by the network. It's going to make everybody angry. That's fine. You can be angry. I'm just telling you what happened. NXT decided, well, if they're on Wednesdays, now we want to be on the USA Network head-to-head. That call was made after it was announced that TNT was going. This was WWE decided that they wanted to go head-to-head on network television. And it was a rush decision, if you recall, because it was like there was a month build or something. like It was less than a month, three weeks or something. It was, ah, we got to get on Wednesday as quickly as possible. Go two hours straight head-to-head with NXT. So as far as who was there first... I mean, you can jibber-jabber back and forth, but that's what actually happened there. Now, I've seen on Twitter people, Oh, and AEW finally won! They ran off NXT! No, that did not happen. What happened was, NBC Sports shut down, and those programs are being moved to the USA Network. And so, Hockey Night being Wednesday... They are moving NXT off Wednesdays so as to not get in the way of hockey. That's what happened. This is a result of hockey. This is not a result of AEW. Now, there is something here, okay? The NHL regular season viewership on NBC over the last couple of years, the average viewership for hockey was 1.074 million viewers. That was the average over the 2019-2020 season. They also had a Winter Classic, which averaged 1.9 million viewers, okay? Now, obviously, if NXT was doing 1.074 million viewers, they're still going to be moved because of hockey, because hockey can sell their ad rates 
at a significantly higher price than wrestling can get for their ad rates. Now, I don't know what the viewership would be, but let's say that NXT was doing 3 million viewers on the USA Network. If, they, if, if NXT were doing 3 million viewers on the USA Network, okay, I would think they likely would not be moved off Wednesdays doing that well. Maybe they would with the idea that if the show is doing 3 million viewers, it's a hit. So we may as well put them on Tuesdays. They're still probably going to be doing 3 million viewers there. If they were doing 5 million viewers on Wednesday, it's not being moved for hockey. Okay? But it wasn't. All right? Now, I do not believe that when they move NXT to Tuesdays and when AEW is doing whatever they're doing on Wednesdays, neither show is going to be doing a number where they would not be moved for hockey. Okay? That's what hockey does in terms of ad rates. But for everybody that thinks... Well, these ratings don't matter. And WWE is doing fabulous numbers on, on YouTube. And all these people in India are watching whenever Scarlet shows up on the screen. Whatever you want to say, bro, that's irrelevant. There is a number that if NXT would have been doing those numbers, they wouldn't have been moved for hockey. Right now, they're nowhere in the universe of those numbers. And so when hockey showed up, please don't drink into the mic, Mike. When hockey showed up, they end up getting bumped. Now they're on Tuesday night. So I don't want to see nerds on Twitter saying this is a big victory for AEW. I mean, I don't even know. Honestly, AEW is going to grow as a result of this. Because when AEW has been unopposed, I think one time they did 950,000. And the other time they did just over a million. So without NXT on Wednesdays, I mean, they're, I don't want to say regularly going to be doing over a million, but they'll regularly be doing over 900,000 and maybe over a million. They are going to benefit from this, but the magic of Wednesday nights and Wednesday night being wrestling night and, and all of these people watching Wednesday nights, I mean, it is gone and there is going to be at least a little feeling of, of, you know, reminiscing over what it used to be, but it's it's gone. It's done. NXT moving to Tuesdays. AEW is going to be staying on Wednesdays. Both shows are going to do better. NXT is going to do better without competition. And AEW is probably going to pick up some of the 50 plus and some of those NXT viewers, and they're going to be doing better as well. So to me, it's better for both sides. If you want to get angry that somebody was, quote, run off their day, whatever you want to do, but. You know what? If there had never been if there had never been an AEW and NXT moved to the USA network, they're being run off their day anyway by hockey. So it doesn't make a difference. And furthermore, if NXT wanted to, they could just go back to the network on Wednesdays and still go head to head with NXT, but they're not gonna. They're gonna stay on USA and they're gonna move to Tuesdays. I was told internally internally in the network, it's a done deal. It has not been announced officially yet so if you want to believe that officially it's not a done deal you can go ahead but internally inside the network it's done it's a done deal so there you go if you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and 99 cents per month you can enjoy full length editions of the brian and Vinny show wrestling observer live figure four daily with tom lawler and lance storm plus hundreds of archived shows all in beautiful hd don't miss out Join us today.